In this episode, we're going to focus on the pie cut. The pie cut is for, more often than not, a lot of your goudas. This is a sense where we're going to go through several actions and we're going to use a new tool. We're going to use a scoring tool on this particular cheese. Anytime you have a cheese that's going to have a little bit harder of a rind or that's a little bit more aged, we take our tool that's typically used to open Parmigiano Reggiano, but we're going to use this to kind of crack any rind that we need to because this wire isn't going to be quite strong enough to crack through this wheel of cheese by itself. So first we've got to score this cheese. And to do that, we're going to grab our scoring tool with this sharp hook. And since we're using a sharp tool, always remember your cut glove. And we're going to start by driving this blade into the very tip of the cheese and pulling it straight back. Of course, making sure that we keep our other hand out of the way. So once that cheese, once the, the hook is in the cheese, pull straight back. Excellent. But we're going to need to get to the end of this cheese. This is where we may need to move our platform cutter and place this wheel of cheese directly onto the cutting board so that we can get a little bit of an edge to take this hook down to the end. There we go. So we're going to slide this in the opposite direction and continue the scoring process. Straight down. Again, you see my thumb is out of the way. Then we're going to flip this wheel of cheese over and we're going to do our best to connect the dots. So we're going to take from one edge, again with the blade all the way in, and boom, make it meet up on the other side. Now this cheese is ready for the wire. So we can move this tool out of our way, set the cheese off to the side, set your platform cutter, again center this wheel, and we'll want to make sure that we're pulling the wire into the area where the cheese has been scored. And it takes just a second, but you'll feel it once it enters into the cheese. Now that we've got it in, of course, just keep pulling straight back. Excellent. Now we've got a half wheel of cheese, two half wheels of cheese, and we're going to need to continue to cut this in half. But we're going to want to go long ways here. And since we've already got the rind opened up, we put this, the rind close to us, we should be able to pull this wire straight through this cheese without any problem. See how I'm placing my hand on top? Excellent. Now we have a half wheel, a quarter wheel, and another quarter wheel. But to get to the pie cut, we've got to do what I refer to as bellying the cheese. Kind of like how you'd butterfly like a good chunk of filet. We've got to open this up from the center. So again, we'll lay this one face of the cheese down with the rind up and facing towards us. The same motion, we're going to center this cheese, put our hand on top, and simply pull. And just like that, we've got a beautiful eighth of a wheel, basically. So now we need to turn this into pre-cuts. To do this without really messing up a lot of cheese, we're actually going to have to snip a little bit of this tip off right here so that we can go in and get angles of cheese where it's not going to fold over and break the cheese. To do this, we simply move the cheese onto the wire, more of a perpendicular kind of process. And we want to really just get this nose off of it. I always refer to this tip right here as the nose of the cheese. So we're going to take it in, get a nice pull. Now this, this is a delicious piece of cheese. This is perfect for cutting up and sampling to customers. Now we're ready to cut this down into pre-cuts. We've got a flat edge to work with, and that's really going to be beneficial to us as we move along. So just like every other cut, we just center this. Pull and cut. Center, pull, and cut. And you'll see that I do place my hand on it. That helps keep the piece of cheese in one spot. 
And now we're going to take this and just cut it one more time directly in half. And here, we'll do this one more time. Perfect. But this is a pie cut because it's supposed to look like a little piece of pie. For wrapping a pie cut, remember, just like every other wrap, we want to make sure that the wrap is not torn, that there are very few air holes, that it's sealed up nice to protect the cheese, and that all the bunching of the plastic is on one side. This side is where you'll place your scale label, and on the front or the top is where you're going to be placing your pre-packed label.